So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to clone your sites in WP Engine. So how do we go from staging to live, live to dev? How do we create a whole new staging environment if we don't already have one? If you wanna know how to do that, this is the video. Let's jump in and get started. So in this video, I'm just gonna show you how to clone a site to a new environment. So first thing, uh, we're gonna open up this website here inside WP Engine, so I open up that. And then what we wanna do is add a staging environment. Because you'll see here this copy environment's grayed out because I don't have anything. Now when I'm copying from an existing, I can just say copy from an existing like this, and I can say, you know, Parks Steel, put in the name of it. Um, and this one is the staging. So we put STG there. And we're just gonna make a copy of the live environment. So you can see here, this can copy anything from, from anywhere within your account. Um, but what we're gonna do here is just go to Parks Steel Production. That's the one that we wanted. And then we're gonna choose the backup and we're just gonna take the daily checkpoint from 19 hours ago and then say create environment. So that's how you create a brand new environment. Okay, so when you've got a site that um, has another environment, so you can hear, see here I've got production, staging and development and all of them have um, their setups. And this means that this button up the top, copy environment, that becomes enabled. So what we're going to do is copy from staging to development. So I say copy environment up here, and then it comes up with this interface. So I wanna go from staging to dev, like that. Um, I want all database tables and file system, or you can, own, you can say only file system. So if you're doing like a plugin update, for example, and you don't wanna to touch the database because you know, it's got, uh, say, WooCommerce orders or something in it, you can say only file system. Um, then you wanna send a notification. This is completely optional. Um, and then you just say review and confirm then it will take a quick look at it. Um, so my source environment to my destination environment, I go, looks good, and copy the environment. And the copy then kicks off and migrates the website. When that starts, straight away, if there's any problem, you'll get an email within the first couple of minutes. If you do, sometimes you have to reach out to WP Engine support to take a quick look at why your environment's not copying. They generally fix it within a few minutes and then send it over. This can be because core WordPress files have been changed um, or there's some other glitch around that area. Uh, they normally look after that, they'll fix it for you. So all you need to do is just raise a support ticket, tell them exactly what you're copying over, paste in the details from the email they sent, and um, they'll sort that out, and then you go through the same process again to copy the website over. Okay, so that's how you copy an environment from um, in WordPress by cloning those environments. So if it's empty, you can copy it over from an existing backup, and if you've got you know, the environment that's already existing, you can copy from one environment to another, and it will send you an email and look after that. All right, I'll see you in the next video.